How's it going? It's Nasty T. This is some sovereign gameplay uh, domination. I'm using the Bison. And my previous video, I talked about you know the things I liked in COD Ghosts, and this is going to be the flip side. The things I don't like so much, and we're going to start off with the kill streaks. Uh, COD Ghosts just simply does not have enough kill streaks. It has 12 assault, uh, 12 support, and then obviously the whatever it's called, where you can just put a bunch of perks on. Uh, the support streaks are fun, and I'll get to that later. But we're going to start with the assault streaks. There's only 12. That's a huge issue because we come from games like MW2, MW3, where you have, I don't know, 35 to choose from, and they're really fun. You have the AC-130, you have the Lodestar, you have the Reaper, you have Swarm, all these things that, you know, keep you coming back for more, that keep you wanting to play the game because you want to have, you know, that 10 kill streak, unlock them, and then just rain death down from the sky because it's fun to dominate. And that was something they took out of COD Ghost. There isn't that domination factor anymore. And I'm going to assume they do that for balancing issues. I mean, we've all hopped in a game where the other team has Orbital V sat up and there swarms up the rest of the game. And it's really no fun. But on the flip side of that, you're only going to give me 12 kill streaks. And yes, things like the dog are fun and they're good. But if no one comes near me, I can't really kill anyone with it. Uh, the other issue, there just isn't the selection. I can't, you know, build a bunch of different classes that do a lot of different things. And the funny thing is they've, they see the issue. If you're going to put 30 guns in a game like they do in every COD, they don't want people to get bored. They want there to be weapon selection so it can fit, fit everyone's, uh, so it can fit everyone's play style, so you can, you know, change up your strategy, you can do different things. You don't get bored. That is the key. Replay value on a game where 99% of the people play it for multiplayer. And they've seen that in the past, but now you're just going to go with 12 kill streaks. So that leaves me scratching my head. You've seen and addressed the issue of we don't want people to get bored in certain aspects of the game, but you kind of left the kill streaks high and dry, which didn't make a lot of sense. There has to be something I'm working towards. There has to be something I am honing my skills at the game. I'm being very careful, and I, you know, I get the eight or I get the ten kill streak. And I know they have the Loki satellite in this game, kind of the James Bond esque type thing. And I know it's very important to the campaign, so they put it in the multiplayer, and that's fine. It's not very good. You can't kill a lot of people with it. The Juggernaut is cool. You drop the automated thing, and you can drop care packages for your team. But it's just not that powerful. It's not the AC-130 where I can kill 15 people with it. So those are all my issues with the kill streaks. There just needs to be a reward system. There needs to be, you know, something where I, okay, I've done extremely well, and now you need to give me something that I've earned. You know, give me something I can have fun with, or else why am I going to keep playing the game? Like I said, MW2, I still go back for the AC-130. Ghosts in two or three years? I'm not going to come back for the satellite. It's just not good enough. Um, switching over to things I like, some redeeming qualities, the support streaks um, are awesome. They're not only great for low-skill players, but people that want to play objective, people that don't want to be stressing out all the time about their kill streaks. It's great that they put that in. Things like the Night Owl are very cool. Oracle, Ballistic Vests, I love. Uh, the Maniac Juggernaut is probably the only kill streak that gets me excited in this game. It's I use it in this gameplay. It's fun. It's different. But at the end of the day, I just have a knife. I don't have giant missiles coming out of a Lodestar. I don't have Rob, the little robot, rolling around from Super Smash Bros. shooting missiles out of his arm, like in Black Ops 2. I just have a knife. So, it's fun, but it, it leaves me wanting more. So that's my issues with killstreaks and ghosts. And before we end the video, I actually have a solution. I have something they could do to fix the killstreaks in ghosts. Uh, they've done with the previous DLC, they've released the guns, they've released the Maverick, the Ripper, which are fun, they're interesting, I like them personally, I think they're cool that they're putting new things in the game. And they've done this with previous maps too, where they reskin really popular maps. In this, it was Ignition Scrapyard, one of my all-time favorite COD maps, and I'm really happy they put it back in the game. It's very exciting, it keeps things fresh, keeps things fun. And what they need to do is they need to import older killstreaks. Take the Harrier and the Pavlo from MW2 also take a, a lock-on launcher to shoot them down, put all three of those in the next DLC or spread them across the next two, whatever you want to do, put those in, I guarantee you it will make people have more fun, it will let you kill more people, it will let you be rewarded for playing well, and let's face it, who didn't love that overpowered Harrier-Pavlo combination in MW2? 
Uh, it was just a ton of fun. It gives you something to work for, and I think that would really excite the people playing the game, and it would, you know, just help ghosts out all around. Well, my name is Nasty T. I'm just gonna put like another minute or two of gameplay here of me just playing well on Sovereign uh, without me talking. If you want to watch it, that's fine. If not, it's all good. Uh, my name is Nasty T, and thanks for the view.